Hello everybody and welcome to this video. Today I will be tearing down an ADSL filter. I don't know what it's like in other countries but in the UK the internet is provided through the phone line so you get one of these connectors and you plug that into the phone line and then an ADSL filter takes a signal and splits the signal into both the phone line and the internet line. So you then get two outputs so you can plug your phone into that one and you can plug your internet into that one and get the internet through there. And the reason why I'm deciding to do this video is because I got up, turned the router on and the router was just flashing an orange light which means it cannot connect to the internet. So I swapped out the ADSL filter and I actually found out that this ADSL filter no longer works as an ADSL filter. The signal just doesn't get through and also if you like put your nose up to the ports and smell the ports it smells like burning electronics. So I'm mainly doing this teardown as a bit of an investigation into what may have gone wrong. I will also point out I don't have any tools to actually take it apart so I will be using a flat standard screwdriver prying it apart. I'm not worried about damaging the screwdriver because the screwdriver is chrome vanadium which is like a hardened steel I believe so there's no way the plastic is going to damage the screwdriver. Anyway let's get into it. I have no idea where to start. I think I'll start like down here. Uh, I am expecting just the plastic to get damaged and it not actually to split open. Yeah. A bit like that. Now I'm not bothered about breaking it because it doesn't work anyway. I just want to, oh, that was promising. I just want to figure out why it's not working. Ah, right, oh yeah. I definitely smell the electronic burning now. So now that side is open, I can actually fit this larger screwdriver in. Now that's, oh, there's that bit. And well, it's just a few simple capacitors and a PCB. Yeah, it really smells. But looking at it, I can't actually see any damage on it. Hmm, that's interesting. So inside an ADSL filter, there is just this little PCB, uh, which is a very simple layout, as you can see there. I'm not going to like draw it out because I don't have the knowledge to draw out PCBs and electrical circuits, but I can tell by looking at that, that's like a fairly simple PCB because there aren't that many traces and there aren't actually that many components on it. Uh, but looking at it, with the untrained eye that I have, because I have no like educated knowledge in uh, what electronics should look like, I've just sort of learnt it over the years of like building computers and like how to identify blown capacitors and uh, things like that. But it all looks fairly fine. As you can see on the capacitors, the capacitors are these black like tower things. Uh, I'm not sure what these those like red things are. I know there's resistors in there and then we've got like little tiny blue ones of those red things. Uh, but yeah, the capacitors, which are like the black column type things, they are all flat on top. So they haven't blown or if they have blown, then they haven't blown in a way that would uh, cause the top of them to dome out. Let me have a look on the back of the PCB for any possible broken solder points. Uh, but just looking at the bottom of the PCB, Everything looks fine. I can't I can't see any like dodgy solder points that may have cracked or whatever. Are there any cracks in the PCB traces? I can't see any. Now I can't really see what's on this side because of all of these components. Let me zoom you out. I need some actual proper like side cutters because this thing's weird. Those red things smell weird. Uh yeah, I don't know what those red things are and they smell. The smell I was smelling is definitely whatever these red things are. So I'm guessing one of those is blown or ruptured or whatever happens to them because I don't even know what they are. Uh, so yeah, that's really it for this video. This was more of just a investigation teardown to try and identify what may have gone wrong. Uh, and while I still don't know what's gone wrong, but that smell I was smelling is a smell of these red things. So I'm guessing that it's one of those that's blown. But another thing that I noticed with this ADSL filter is as you can see in that plug there, uh, there's only two contact points. It's like the other ADSL filter that I put in the internet after this one decided it just wasn't going to work. Uh, that's The other one's got like contact points all across, whereas this one's only got two of them. Well, I mean, it should have still worked because it did work previously with only two contacts, but I wondered if a contact connection point had gone bad or something, or maybe you need more connector points for a more stable 
connection or something like that. To be honest, I don't really know when it comes to electrical stuff like this. So any information that you can provide in the comments will be appreciated. Providing you put like proper constructive information in the in the comment section for me to read. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I don't exactly know what's gone wrong, but the smell I was smelling is these red things. So I'm not sure what's happened there. But yeah, that's it for this video. So if you enjoyed it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Comment, favourite, share and subscribe. And thank you for watching. I shall speak to you in the next video. So this is what's inside an ADSL filter.